What's up, YouTube family? What's going on? It's your guy Mark here from McNeely Empowerment TV. Welcome to this video. Welcome to the channel. If you're brand new, I miss you all. And um, I'm back at it with more content, more valuable content that can help you in your marriage and your relationships and just to live a better overall quality of life. And so what I designed to do is take my pain, take my mistakes, take my uh, stupidness and um, really share with you what I've learned and share with you how I overcame and how we've overcome and how you can too. So the title of this video is um, Why Did I Cheat on My Wife? Yes, why did I cheat on my wife? And I get it. I hear people say all the time, man, you, you're an amazing, a good, upstanding guy, upstanding dude. Um, I can't believe you did that. How could you do something like that? And I, I get it. I, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Um, so I'm going to attempt to share with you all why I cheated on my spouse, my wife, and my marriage. Um, it's not something that I'm proud of. Um, you know, it is a process to get through, to get over. It's a process to forgive yourself, learning how to forgive yourself. And by the way, I'm outside, so we got to excuse the noise and the birds and the crickets and all of the noise and the AC unit. Um, so I'm outside here on my patio. But anyway, let's get into this thing. Um, and shout out to everybody that have been in a relationship and you have been cheated on or you have been uh, mistreated, right? Um, and you've overcome. Shout out to you that are, have overcame the hurt, the pain, um, the insecurity in your relationship. And then shout out to those of you that are still going through the process. So let's get into it, man. So for me to answer this question, why did I cheat on my wife? I have to go all the way back to my young adolescent um, age um, I would start around the age when it's time for me to date um, I was very uh, you know well known as many of you know uh, in sports I became a sports jockey playing little league sports so everybody knew me everybody knew of me um, and I was a likable person likable guy likable person um and so with that being said you know you tend to get girlfriends so i started getting girlfriends nothing really serious but i would date one girl you know and then i don't know maybe a month or two later um i'll have another girlfriend um and then another month or two later you got another girlfriend right so that's what I would do. And so this behavior kind of went on until I actually lost my virginity. So I lost my virginity really early. You know, um, I really have a lot of regrets um, about losing my virginity so early. But I believe the reason why I lost my virginity so early is, was because of the abuse that I had went through for those of you that haven't heard or seen my abuse story um i'll leave a video clipping over here or below um so that you all can see it if you would like to um but anyway um when i because i experienced abuse um what happened was i was putting myself in position to be more uh promiscuous and to be more curious and involved with females um so i lost my virginity at age 15 i'll never forget um and then from there it just it kicked off you know i would get into these relationships and then they wouldn't be anything uh long lasting you know i would date someone you know, even when I got to high school, 15, I would date someone two, three months. We'll break up for whatever reason. And then, boom, I'm in another relationship. So I'm jumping from female to female to female to female. A different variety. 
So when I got to high school, it got very bad. It got very intense because I was a, you know, well-known football player in high school. I was a, a, a jock. I was a homecoming king my junior year and senior year. So everybody knew me. Um, and the more popularity that I, uh, or, or praise and popularity that I uh, obtained, it just created more of what I already was, which was a messed up individual. I didn't know how to uh, commit to a relationship with one woman. Um, you know, I just, I will bounce around, you know, when things get challenging or things get difficult, or if I wasn't interested anymore, I'll move to the next girl. And so that pattern or behavior, behavior followed me even into my adulthood when I got to college. You know, I had a couple real relationships in college. And when things got stale or things got old or when things got, I guess, boring or when I got opportunities to be around other females and noticing that, man, I can pull this chick, this chick. You know, it just, it was something that was all already still within me, right? I never really dealt with the issues I never really dealt with um, you know learning how to just be with one one woman one person and so I struggled with that not even knowing that I did but I just reacted you know if I would break up with you right if I was dating you I would break up with you or we would break up whether you, let's say you broke up with me right two three weeks later I'm talking with somebody else you know, I never gave my relationships time to process and heal, you know, to learn from my error, my mistakes. You know, I would just move on and move forward. Um, and so with that being said, I eventually got hurt in a relationship, you know, trying to do a long distance relationship. And then I'm, you know, got cheated on. So I, I do know how it feels to be cheated on, but um, it hits really, really deep when you're married and your spouse cheats on you. They step out on you. Now, so that was the backstory to get to where I'm going now. Um, once I got caught, when I got caught cheating, right? That was the worst day of my life. Um, I'll never forget. My wife called my work phone, the actual work phone. I wasn't answering it. Actually, I take that back. No, I got caught because my wife had, I had left my work phone at home. I had left my work phone at home and those phones, man, they're just going to get you in trouble. So I called myself talking to the person on my work phone and we were going back and forth and that's how I got caught. I actually just left the phone home one day. Um, but up until that point before I had got caught, I was really tired mentally. I was stressed I was tired of holding the secrets of Infidelity, I just didn't know how to do it. I didn't know how to release The hurt the guilt the shame the pain everything. Um, I didn't know how to love you know what I'm saying um, and so You know with that being said um because I didn't know how to love, you know, my wife got hurt, you know, in the process. She got hurt in the process. And so, once I got caught, she called the job, actually the actual job where I was working at, asked them to transfer me, transfer her to me. And I'm not gonna just, re I'm not gonna repeat what was said, but it was one of the worst days of my life. I'm gonna just say that every kind of feeling, every kind of emotion, it ran through me, man. Um, so this is why I highly recommend, be honest. You know, if, if you're not happy, if it's not gonna work out, just be honest, just be straight up. Don't waste anybody's time. And technically I was wasting her time. Um, now, what was going on in my marriage or my relationship that caused me to step out, I had I had all type of excuses, you know, um, excuses like, oh, you know, you're boring or we're boring, 
um, in the bedroom. It's, it needs to heat up. Oh, I'm not getting it enough. I mean, these were the things that were actually coming to the top of my head that I that I had mentioned. Oh, I'm not getting it enough. Because when you get married and you start to settle in and then you start to have children, a lot of things change. You know what I'm saying? A lot of the dynamics, it just changes. You know, the things that you used to do uh, when it was just the two of you, you don't do now because now you have to balance life with children or family. And I didn't know how to do that, right? I didn't know. She didn't know. Um, so a lot of times our, um, you know, intimate life, it, it needed work. So so you're best to believe if I was feeling a certain way, I'm sure she was feeling a certain way, right? Wasn't getting everything that she needed intimately. And for a woman, intimately or intimate is talking just sitting down talking sitting down dating sitting down you know uh getting in the head or the mind being stimulated stimulating a woman emotionally i didn't know that man i again i bounced from relationship to relationship so i didn't really have a whole lot of time to learn about a woman emotionally and what they need and the needs of a woman and you know there's many different layers to women that's what make you all so special so anyway, um, I I came to the you know forefront after I got caught saying, hey, you know, this is why I did what I did. You know, um, you don't notice me. You know, you don't tell me how fine I look anymore. Um, you don't do this and that. So basically, I was blaming her for everything, right? I was blaming her for why I was doing what I was doing. Um, and I just want to say, I want to pause it right there. That still doesn't give you the right, anybody the right to cheat or to step out on your, on your lady. You know, it, it, it just doesn't give you the right, right? Um, you're better off just saying, hey, I need to separate or I need to leave. But again, you know, I, I just, that didn't come across my mind. I, I just rather do my thing or whatever and figure it out later and you can't do that so that's kind of the the selfish the selfishness that i basically brought into my marriage so anyway after counseling you know after coming out i realized that i had never really had a successful relationship right i'm talking in the past when i was 14 15 never really had a successful relationship when things would get hard i would always run and so that's basically what I was doing when things were getting hard in our marriage or when things was getting challenging in the marriage. I would just go look to go to somebody else, you know, and that's not the answer. That's not the key. That's not going to fix anything by bringing another person, another individual into the marriage or into the relationship. But in my mind, hey. I wanted somebody that wanted me. I wanted someone that had the hots for me. I wanted someone that was like, dang, he fine. Wow, man, he look good. You know, I wanted to hear that. I wanted more of that, you know, and I'm sure she did as well. Um, but, you know, I wanted that. But I wasn't putting in any type of effort to get that out. And that's the thing. Another thing I want to leave with you all is relationships or marriages are a lot of work, man. A lot of people want them. And then once the honeymoon phase dies down, it gets challenging. You have to still put in the work. And I thought that it'll just happen on its own. But I come to tell you, it doesn't just happen on its own. You know, you have to continue to work it, you know. And, um, and so that was why I ran out to do my own thing. That was why I cheated on my wife. It's because I wasn't willing to sit down and communicate effectively with her what her wants and needs are out of the relationship, what my wants and needs are. I just went back to, I just picked up old habits that I was already doing years ago. Years ago. I just continued old habits, old traits and old habits right um you know so i would go back to the females that hey what's up call me you know um hey you know i'm married 
you know, I can't be with you, but, you know, we can hang out, we can talk, you know what I'm saying? I can come over, I can chill with you, I can show you a good time, you know what I'm saying? But I can't, I can't stay here, you know what I'm saying? I got a, I got a family back home. And that's the thing, you know, for those of you, you women out there that have ran around and cheated with a guy that's married, you guys got to understand, man, a lot of men are not going to leave their family. A lot of men are going to try to work it out. It costs a man more to leave their family, their kids, everything, you know, especially if they're the breadwinner. It's going to cost them more to leave to transition. Unless it's really just not working, most men are not going to leave. They'll tell you that they're going to leave. They'll tell you that they're working on some stuff. They'll tell you that they're separated. You know, I've been there. I've done all of that, you know, but the moral of the story is, you know, you got to work on yourself, man. If you have some, we all have imperfections, right? We all have some things that we can do and be better with, right? Especially in our relationships. Don't take the other person for granted, man. Um, I took my wife for granted. She could have easily um, ran around and did the same thing on me, but she showed me love through all of this. Now, it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy at all. You know, it was straight up trauma. You know, straight up trauma. We had our own issues where I caused her to entertain another another guy, right? Because that's what hurt people do. When there's no security in the relationship, you know, especially with a woman, if she feels like you don't want her, she's not valuable, you know, enough for you, she knows her worth. I'll just go find another person that's, that finds me valuable. All right? But luckily for me, it worked out to where, you know, God had his hand on it to where we were able to get through it. But it was very, very challenging, very difficult. You know, um, and she can tell the story on that part. Um, so we got a lot of great content and information that you all can really, really um, learn from especially in your relationships but i just said all that to say man um a lot of the behaviors that you do you know or did when you were younger you got to make sure that you tighten up those loose ends you got to make sure that you still don't struggle with those things you got to make sure that that stuff is out of you before you enter into something new something special something sacred you know because i didn't value my vows i didn't value my um you know, my commitment to God. I didn't value anything, man. I didn't value my family. Um, I didn't value my union. And so I felt very bad about that. But again, there was a lot of different driving factors as to why I did what I did. I just picked up old habits, just basically picked them back up. You know, so learning how to be faithful, learning how to commit to one per person, uh, saying yes to one person and saying no to everyone else. When females was asking me for my number, I should have just said no. Um, you know, when, you know, you know the signs. When they're trying to uh, learn more about you, find out about you, just shutting it down. Like, don't entertain it. And I didn't know how to do that because I was just so used to being the man, being on his high horse. Used to being the person that the females liked and wanted. I was a likable person. And so I just used those opportunities uh, to leverage uh, when things was going bad at home and that's what a lot of people do when things is bad at home or it's not right at home or you you're or there's a uh, deficiency at home you go out looking for whatever it is you're lacking whether it's sex whether it's pleasure whether it's I don't know lust whatever it is that you are seeking you go look for that in a different place uh, which a lot of times is not going to be healthy for you so I just want to shoot this quick video I hope you all got some value from it. Let me know what y'all think. And um, hey, I'm going to see y'all on the next video. Peace.